Welcome back everybody, I am Aesop Grimm and this is the continuation of our Skyrim Chronicle. We have um, gone through the Falmer area. I don't suppose I have a charge, do I? I have a greater soul gem. I don't have that. Where's my... Oh, I stored my black... Oh, man. <laughs> That's... It's in my horse. My horse has the black star. Okay, well, we'll just use these smaller ones. For right now. Okay, so we've gone through the Falmer area and we've reached this gate that was guarded by a Dwarven Centurion. So, um, now we are continuing on. Remember, we're looking for a, uh, a dwarven lexicon and uh, and a tuner. Let's just get out of here. Oh. Hasn't there been enough death? you want me to leave just waiting for me to turn my back so you can have all the glory for yourself it what was that Oh, he ran. The other guy ran. Oh, there he is. I need to start the timer. There we go. Okay, bring the chat back up. Wow. Well, I mean, I gave him a chance. I didn't even strike first that time. When bashing does three points of bleeding damage for five seconds. Dude, if I can get that enchant, that might be nice to have on my block. Well, in Skyrim, I love damage over time. I just like the, I don't know, it appeals to me, but in Skyrim, it doesn't seem to be such a big thing. Because you, uh, it seems to be more about direct damage in Skyrim. Okay, um, let's bring up Clairvoyance again and just make sure. Okay. Yep. Open Black Reach. That shield is unique. NPC AI and Skyrim is so bad that it makes it funny. Oh, look at this place. Wow. All right, this is Black Reach. This, so this is Falmer area. I don't know if it can be disenchanted. Ah, okay. Zenith hangs over his Breeze home bed. Oh, yeah, I might do the same thing. I might follow suit on that. That's exactly what occurred to me, actually, as well, Buxy, since I've already used the one in um, Falkraith to display the blade stuff then the one that I have left is in the Breezewood home okay I remember this I actually remember this having a halo feel to me because it's wide open and kind of epic looking
Okay. Oh, yeah, and there's all these different places you gotta find to go, so clairvoyance is gonna help a lot here. I think I recall having to search around here for quite a while before I figured out what I needed to do. There's a farmer. More Falmer up there. Ah, that was a Charis. Oh, uh, I need health. I think I can get away with this damage health and give me Got another Falmer up and to the right. Uh, where to? Uh oh. Can't find it. Go to third person. Okay. I actually need switch to healing. Switch back to clairvoyance. Welcome to Black Reach. That house in the entrance has a lot of ingredients. It might be worth it. Oh man, I didn't see that in time, Joa. Sorry. should be an option to use a filled soul gem for healing. Oh, really? Well, I've got a lot of health potions on me, I, I'm pretty sure, so we should be okay. That's pretty. I wonder if that's where we're headed. No, it doesn't seem to be. There's a sewer. The uh, enchant I have on my helmet, if I remember right, is um, magic regen. And that seems to be paying off quite a bit. What is this? Oh, I bet we could unleash that. I don't want to do it. I'll have to fight it. Yeah, we're not going to do that. <laughs> um, clairvoyance. Across the bridge. As expected. Oh, the huge glowing globe is a is a monstrosity that you have to fight, huh? Yeah, 
Yeah, we'll just stay on task. Maybe I can... <laughs> I'll save that for a future playthrough then. That's what I'll do. Okay. Get the shield out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quick save. Lydia's with me. And clairvoyance. I've been in this room before. This was tough. I don't remember how to solve it or, or what's going Oh man. I hope I hope I'm able to not die here. <laughs> I remember this being difficult in some some way. Like uh maybe it was easy and I was missing something obvious. I can't recall. Okay, here's this is gonna be the attunement thing that the uh guy was telling us right it makes different sounds oh my gosh uh, let's see clairvoyance uh, we're there <laughs> get the shield back up uh, welcome to not black reach in and out in a few minutes nice Remember to inscribe the lexicon and get the scroll. You'll figure it out. Okay. Inscribe the lexicon and get the scroll. That looks like a constellation of planets. Okay. Uh oh. This is Drocht. Drocht has been here a long time. Is that where I came from? I I think so. No, I came from down here, I think. Yeah, so I need to go check that other lever out. Which, right now, I kind of suspect... ...takes us up top. Where I tried to enter... ...before. Yeah, open Skyrim. Okay, so I don't want to go there. Lever room is the exit. Put the lexicon in the column on the end. Oh, I have the lexicon on me? In the column at the end. Yeah, he gave me the lexicon so that I could get it filled. Okay. Okay, yep, I see it. Activate lexicon receptacle. Mm -hmm. 
these two buttons seem to be exposed, these two are not. Okay, so the tab there is facing me whenever I press this one. Well, it's facing me in both K. Oh. The green circles. Okay, bring the green circles up. And do they match this picture right here? Is that like a maze thing? Oh, is it the pathways? Does it open up a different... different pathways? Go back on the buttons place and put the lexicon on the ultra thing. Right. Okay. These are all the same. That tab thing looks like it would be this left hand arc. Uh, and I'm not sure how I would get it to look that way. Oh, every time I hit this, it changes. So if I hit this one, just keep clicking the buttons. That's how I did it back in the day. Lol, or you can read the journal. Read the journal you picked up. Okay, items book. Here's Jazar's journal. This one is at his wit's end. I signed Jazar myself up for this expedition, tried to get him clean of the skooma, brought a small supply to bring him down slowly, but the storm has had us trapped in the glacier for weeks. The others have not yet caught on that one with fur should not shake so much from the cold. But I've run out of the little skooma I brought and Jadar is getting pretty bad. He started hallucinating creatures coming out of the ice and the ruins. The others are starting to think he may be behind Valley's disappearance, but I know he would never do something like that. Well, never underestimate what an addict will do. Um, Katria's journal. 17th of Sun's Height. Dang, that scheming elf. Uh, he steals my notes, my discovery, and... Oh, wait, I've already read this. That's not for us letter the black arrow I don't think I have another journal oh dropped journal Yeah, I know what you're talking about, Buxy, but um, I don't see it in my inventory. Unless it's the Black Arrow. This is a book. It's not the letter from Falk Firebeard. That's a quest. It's not Catria's journal. That's the other quest for the different Dweemer places to go. And it's not Jazar's journal. check the table behind the buttons <laughs> oh 
Oh, here it is. I weren't never one for writing about my life. The king priests of old deserve their stories told, but Drocht is a simple man. So this isn't no journal, and I'm not telling any stories here. But this infernal machine done worked its way into my brain space, and I won't leave till it's figured out. The whole contraption just sets like a dead horker if it doesn't have the box. Putting the box in the hole made it all come to life. Five rings, but only four buttons. Most of them, most of them don't work, most of the time anyhow. So when the lights line up, more open, but they don't seem to help. Just make another dang thing move. The old flea bag Khajiit, what sold me this cube, said something about the light through the knowledge through the machine rests on the cube. The light through the knowledge through the machine rests on the cube and the cube goes in the stand up there okay remember because he made me say it back to him till i wanted to throttle him so i did try to leave but wolves to the top and them eyeless freaks outside the tower gotta stay here till i get it right and i will get it right oh wow so he starved to death Well, I'm sure that the pattern here has to match the pattern here. So we're looking at three up top in an arc and one down below. Okay, that's going to rotate left and right. Oh, not that time. It did something. Oh, I didn't like that. Ah, now these are open. Okay. Oh, snap. Okay. Wow. I'll be honest, I just pressed stuff until things happened. <laughs> it's not like I knew what I was doing. When the lexicon opens like that, check the left button. Okay. Hello. Okay. Alduin's Bane. Read the Elder Scroll at the Time Wound. Now, are we going to have a problem? Oh, there we go. Okay, transcribe the lexicon and give the lexicon to Septimus. Man, this is this is awesome. Yeah, don't forget the lexicon. Thanks, Buxy. I gotta go. May your road lead to warm sands. Thank you, Buxy, and take care, man. Take care. Got seven minutes left in this episode. And, um, I tell you what, Joa, once we finish up this episode, uh, just because of where we're at, let's, let's, uh, we'll just stream if you want to stay on and I'll do things like smithing and look for blue swallowtail because I'd like to save the, the pushing of the story for when Buxy's back, when both of you are back, preferably. 
since you guys have been in this from the very beginning. That's what I'm thinking. Does that sound good to you? I don't want to do something that's not entertaining for you. You know? But we could get those enchants going. Uh, for the amulet and the ring that you were talking about. Ah, uh, here. Okay, man, sounds good. All right, cool. Well, then let's go ahead and create a save point right here. And there's a few minutes left in this episode, but we'll just call it early. Crafting is part of the game. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, again, I'm Aesop Grimm. Uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm not really going to record in the next episode just yet uh, because I'm looking for stuff to make an enchanting and smithing potion well I think I just need an enchanting potion yeah but uh, in the next episode we should probably be pushing the quest forward potentially we'll be doing some enchanting uh, I'm not sure we'll find out but the stream's gonna stay up and I will see you guys in the next episode where this story continues thanks for visiting Aesop Grimm's Chronicles if you've made it this far in the video, please consider rating, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. I hope to see you in the next episode, and until then, stay shiny.